welcome. It's finally first time with this truck camper. I decided to hit the road. It's still kind of under construction, but I had to get out. It's I've been working on the camper for so long, so I decided to take a short trip from my house. And yeah, I'm quite excited. This truck decided to park right behind me. I don't feel sketched out yet, but I'll definitely keep an eye and hopefully uh, he leaves or it's kind of weird because there's so many parking spots along the road and it's about 6 p.m. so it's gonna get dark so if I do feel sketchy I will definitely go 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 and here it is my undergoing hashtag construction renovation whatever you can call it so here it is so far so I did have a water damage you guys can yeah, anyway, I did have a water damage, but I ripped everything out, the couch, everything, everything, except the kitchen. I left the kitchen. It's all framed, all good. But I am still in process of hooking my electrical. The plan is to do that within 30 minutes here because it's getting dark and I have no light. That means no anything, pretty much, that runs off 12 volt. So I'm hoping I can get that going before it gets too dark. And yeah. That is so creepy. I don't like that. Before it gets too dark, I just wanted to check out the waterfront view I have, or... No, it's not a waterfront view, but my camper is a little bit high up there. That's only like 20 steps away. Anyway, yeah, it is, I plan to fish here tomorrow morning. And it's quite windy right now though, so I don't know. I do have a little pontoon boat. I'm not sure I'm gonna get it down from that steep hill, but tomorrow problem, but hey, here it is. Look at this gorgeous place. Ah, so windy, but it's so nice. All right. We should probably head up there. Can't really trust that truck behind me, so. And I gotta get the lights set up. Let's go. Oh, wow, it took a way longer than I thought. Probably about an hour. But I kinda had to gym every it, but you know what? <clears throat> Hopefully I got this right. This is the moment I've been waiting for. Let's go! Oh, yes! Let's see. Fan? Ooh, it is time to clean up. We finally have light. So that was a lot of work and I'm getting pretty hungry right here. So today I'll be making some chicken teriyaki. Sounds pretty good and pretty starving. Hopefully, uh, hopefully I have gas. <laughs> the time has come and here is the chicken teriyaki it looks pretty good I'm not gonna lie the taste I don't know but <laughs> the visual I'm pretty happy with it good thing I uh, prepped it before because I would have been way tiring if I did it from scratch
Mm. Chicken's crispy. Maybe I'm just hungry. Everything will taste good, right? Everything tastes good, right? When you're hungry. But Asians always need rice. Essential. Essential thing here. Oh, and by the way, the guy that was behind me for a while, he ended up leaving. So this is my spot. This is my spot now. I definitely have to get some sort of a protection. Not sure what I should get. Maybe you guys can let me know. But maybe being in the wild or in the woods by myself isn't without a weapon or a self-protection type thing for wildlife. You know, it would be a bad idea if I don't have it with me. So, And tomorrow morning I'm going to wake up super early. I have a little ponto with me in the truck and uh, I'll try to fly fish. Just gonna uh, come out with the spinning cast and give it a few casts, might as well. I'm so full right now, I just gotta, you know, do some workout at least, or move around, get the digestive system going, and if I get a fish, hey, I'll take it. Got a big day ahead tomorrow and it was a long day today so I'm gonna hit the bed and uh, yeah I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Good morning. Yeah, it was a pretty good night. I had a pretty good sleep. I had to move in the middle of the night because there's a party going on. So I'm on a different, same lake but different location. And it was actually pouring uh, rain quite a lot last night. <laughs> and you could actually hear it quite well. But I'm just going to have a quick oatmeal and uh, I probably should hit the water. The wind has calmed down a little bit. I can kind of see it. Uh, by my kitchen door or a kitchen window, but have a quick meal and uh, head her out there. That should be a good one, hopefully. <laughs> Sure how to cast, so that wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. I can live with that. <laughs> really? Probably about 12 inches. 12 inches, but. Oh, kind of let this bad boy go. 
I'm not going to keep on today, so here we go, bud. Oh, let's go. Oh, I'm so excited. It took me two and a half hours to get one. <laughs> so nothing was working pretty much, so I decided to switch it up. I have a floating line and I have a uh, indicator at the end, seven feet of leader. And I was using this fly. I think it's some sort of a leech, green leech. I'm not a fly fishing guy, but I'm trying to learn. But the good news is, if I can do it, you can do it too. So yeah, this is a fly that I got got it on. Wow, it is pissing right now. After right after my first catch, but gorgeous day, no wind. So that's good. But wow, it is. The fishing's definitely slow, but. No skunk today, no skunk, so which is good. All right, it's time to pack up. I was gonna stay here for a while, but raining too much and I am soaking wet. This is not weatherproof, so, or waterproof. And I don't wanna catch a cold. And look at it, it's pouring rain. Oh, I'm freezing. By the way, it was a great first trip and uh, I look forward to the next one and I will definitely be more prepared now I know what I need and yeah just in general it was a good experience and uh, yeah as always until next time